I just wanted to bring this little video up because I've been asked this question loads and loads of times over tutorials that I did and all. I haven't done tutorials in a, in a long time. Um, I'll get back into them soon. I've just been very, very busy. But um, The number one question I seem to always get on tutorials is what's the strumming pattern to this song? And what's the strumming pattern to that song? And personally, me personally, since I picked up guitar, I've been playing guitar since I was 22, 23. Um, I'm now 48 years of age. I've never used the strumming pattern in my life. Like I've always learned the song just by ear or trying to play, play it as close to the recording or as close as to the person that's playing it. Um, was always the way I did it. I've never kind of like tried to be perfect, and you never are perfect. Everybody plays songs different ways. Even though like the certain songs that I've seen, like Richard Ashcroft, David Gray, where I don't strum it exactly the same as David Gray, or I don't strum it exactly the same as Richard Ashcroft. Now there are a few songs that I do strum near the same as the recording, but that's just. The song that's in it and I kind of learn it. But listen guys, personally I think they should outlaw strumming patterns. You shouldn't, don't go for strumming patterns. The best thing to do for me, and I, I, seriously it'll, it'll pay off in the future for you, is to just listen to the recording and just mute all the strings and try to play it that way. Do you know what I mean? Now I remember... One of the first songs I ever learned to play was uh, Morning Glory. And then I went from that to Wonderwall. This is going back many, many moons ago. But when I got to Wonderwall, obviously, when you're starting playing, it, it is kind of alien when you're strumming at force. You're kind of you're like this at force. Like, you know, you're kind of hammering it. I know there's a feel to it. You end up getting the feel as, as the years go on. That'll all come in time. You know what I mean? Because it's all just a process. But re-strumming that, I remember learning Wonderwall and just learning a few chords. And what I did was I listened to the recording. I never ever kind of looked up strumming patterns on which goes up, down, up, down, and it has to be perfectly right. Basically, I just went along with the song and just, you know, kind of went as near as I could to it. Do you know what I mean? Even even this now, what I'm gonna do now, just in a couple of seconds, is probably not even the Wonderwall strumming pattern. Do you know what I mean? But it sounds right to me. Uh, when I hear myself recording it, it sounds right. Plus, the songs like Wonderwall as well. I'm just putting it all down to Wonderwall, but there's other songs as well. Where the artist over the year years, he has changed the strumming pattern to that particular song. Like when Noel Gallagher forced. Start playing Wonderwall when it was released. It was real fast. He was real like, you know, this, I'll just do a quick strum of it anyway. That's the way Noel played it back in the day. He doesn't even play it like that now these days. So when I was learning that strumming pattern, I was basically listening to the recording and muting the strings and like my hand was a bit more rigid than it is now. It's much more, my hand is a bit more looser now from years of playing and you know, it's kind of like muscle memory or what have you. But back then I was kind of rigid. So I was just going ding, 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 and that was the strumming pattern I came up with. Now, if you were to tell me what is that up, down, 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 up, down, I couldn't tell you, lads. I couldn't tell you. And even when people ask me what's the strumming pattern to Underwall, I'm like, what the hell is the strumming pattern to Underwall? It's just the way I play it. Now, um, like Morning Glory was the same. Now, read Wonderwall again. I'm just using Wonderwall as, a, as an example. Then there was, like, through the years, Noel has changed his strumming of Wonderwall to a more mellower way. 
this is the way he actually plays it. I've, I've seen him in a couple of videos, um, not recently, but of a year or two ago or three years ago, where this is the way he strums it. It's like. Now that's a completely different way, he plays it much more lighter than he did years ago. But the strumming to that is, is different as well, it's... You know, <laughs> now again, I, I just looked at Noel playing that and I kind of played along to it for about five minutes and it just came, became natural to me then after that, you know. Now this goes in all of the songs. Now obviously you get different songs where they're like, you know, you know, you have the likes of that in it. It's a kind of, you know, quick strumming and all. But please, people, like just whatever you're doing, don't look for strumming patterns. I think it's very negative. You end it, try to play it yourself. Try to play it yourself to the best of your ability. And once it gets near the song, it's all right. It doesn't have to be 100% like the artist, the way he plays it. Once it sounds right to you, and it's near, 70% near, or whatever, that's brilliant, you know? Personally, I think strummer patterns should be outlawed. That's my thing, anyway. Now, the other reason this came to me is because I was looking back on old videos of mine, uh, tutorials, and I've never replied, guys. I'm not being ignorant by not replying, but when any, any time someone asks me a strum pattern, I tend to deflect away from it. <laughs> because... I don't know myself, to be honest, the strumming pattern. I just play it naturally. You know, I just play songs naturally, as, as natural as, as I can. They're not 100% right, but they're, near, they're as near as, as I play it. So you just figure that out by yourself. It's the best thing to do. Best advice I'll ever give you. And it, you, you'll end up getting a more natural thing with your own strumming as well. That, like, when a song does come on, you'll just listen to it. It'll be in your head. A couple of players, you'll get near it. And then you're off of the races. Do you know what I mean? That's what I do now. It kind of comes naturally to me now, certain strumming things. You know? And, you know, most songs have a basic same strumming pattern in any way. Do you know what I mean? So, like, you can get other songs where it's just down. They're just going down. Do you know what I mean? And then you get... There's all different types in any way, but... That's all I can say, guys. I'm not being one bit ignorant to what anyone that asks me about a strumming pattern. I just don't know myself. And the best advice for all the people that have asked that, just go into the cards. Okay? Just a little thing that came to me mind. I wanted to get her up on YouTube and let you all know about it anyway. And hopefully, you know, it's the best advice that I could give you. You know, it is the best advice I could give you. Fuck them strumming patterns. Get rid of them. Okay, lads. Take it easy and I'll talk to you all soon down the road. Peace.